Good evening. Good evening. Kamal Tagaf, how are you? I'm done. Oh, I couldn't hear you for a little bit. Yeah, there was, the internet connection was not good. Okay. How are you, David? Hope he's there. Okay, so what do we got left here? Tour we finished. We also did the Shulchan Aruch, but I don't know if there was something else. Okay. More to it. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Yeah, we did Aleph, we got to do Bet now. Yes, okay. Okay, so he says over here, Katab Avi Azri, Shaim Kafa O Al Piv Mutar. Right, we, met, we talked about this in the tour that if he overturned it and stood it upside down, then it would be allowed to, to say Kiachima there because now the, the opening is closed, the lid is closed, whatever, the mouth of it is closed. So um, it says, Bet Yosef, regarding that, Sham Be Mordechi. The Mordechi Vafiru Im Kifao Alpiv, even if he overturned it on his on its mouth, Yesh Shamu Marhik Mimenu Mipne Shenivlabo. Some say you still have to go away from it. Why? Because it's absorbed in there. Umais and it's disgusting. The Have Kimot Soa had Vuka Besandalo. So resembles the case of the excrement which is um, sticking to his shoe. Okay, uh, he goes on. Ul Rabia Nire, but it's according to this rabbi, Leatir, he says it's allowed to have Mechusehu because they're all, you know, uh, bottom line, it's covered. The law Adif Mitsua Beashashit. So it's not any different than the case of the excrement uh, behind the glass. The law Damir So it says it doesn't really resemble the case of the the excrement on the shoe. 
uh, Rabbeinu Sover. Rabbeinu, the tour holds, Kesvara Kama, he holds like the first opinion. So he says, Halacha is like him. That's it. Why is that? The Mistaber Tam, because the reasoning makes sense, right? The, the logic makes sense there. Okay, good. Uh, so then he goes on. Matzati Katu Beohel Moed. It says, I found written in this book. Sheim had Geref O Avit Betoch Kali Echad Achel. If the um, this uh, canister is in another utensil, mutar, it's allowed. Because then it's already like, uh, you know, covered by something. That's what it says also there. The Tama, the Mr. Berhu says that's also makes sense. Of course, it makes sense. Once you cover the whole thing, right? Uh, so then there should be no smell. Okay, good. That's bet. So let's go to Shuchanuch. Let's see what we got there. So he says those canisters which are made for the excrement and urine, shel cheres or shel etz. If it's uh, made out of clay or uh, wood, shekefao alpiv, and then he overturned it upside down. Yesh matirin veshosin. Some say it's allowed like that, and some say it's not allowed. Ve'alachak etzibir osim. So he says the halacha is that it's forbidden. Right, and we said, right, what's the reason for that? The reason is because in these types of um, materials, the smell gets absorbed inside. So it doesn't really help you that you overturn it. It doesn't really solve the problem. That's one issue. Now we got the second one. So it says, but you're saying, Gim, Gim, so it says, if that uh, canister right, is in the house, so there, there's a dispute in the Tanaim regarding this, in the, in the Mishnah, there is a Soprek Mishnah Metal, over there, right? Uh, it's actually a Brita. So it says there, Tan Rabbanan, the rabbis taught, Gerev Shilrei, right? If you have a canister like that, Ve'avit Shilrei, you're not allowed to read Kiachima next to them. Ben Mita, Ben Whether it's in front of the bed or behind the bed. Rabbi Shimon Ben Ramashimon Gamriel Omer, this rabbi says, Omer Lachar Hamita Kore. He says, if it's behind the bed, you can read. Um, Miyad, uh, right away. But if it's in front of the bed, you got to distance yourself there for amot. Okay. So uh, the Kore. Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar Omer, this rabbi says, Afilu bet, bet ama. So see if you have a big room, you know, which is uh, 50 feet uh, large, whatever, right? Uh, not 50 feet, I'm sorry. 50 meters, right? A very large room. Doesn't make any difference. Right? You're not allowed to read there until you remove that stuff. Or he places it under the bed, one, one or the other. The Svirale, why? Because he holds the Ashba. This rabbi holds the whole room is considered like four amot. One domain. The Ifligu Emorae. So he says the Emoraim, they were arguing about this. If the Halakha is like the Rajba, 
the, the Amar Kola Bait Kiarba Amot, that he said that the whole room was like for Amot. The Katur Rabbeinu Yona says over there, the Rosh and the Rosh, they wrote this, Sheri Ben Ibn Giat, this rabbi, Pasak Halacha Kirashba, he passed like Rashba, the Kola Bait Kiarba Amot, that the whole, the whole room is considered to be like for Amot. So they pushed out his uh, right uh, opinion. And since Rava Paskins in the Gemara, then Allah is not like Rashba, that's how we Paskins, it says. That's why we read Paskins. That's why we read Paskins. That's why we read So he says, since they agree to this, to the Rif and the Rambam, so therefore the Allah is like that. So then he goes on, when you know says regarding the Machloket dispute, that which there is, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Rabbanan, this Machloket there, as we mentioned, Katab Rosh, so what's the halacha? That's the question, right? So the Rosh says, Shea Gaon Mefaresh, the Gaon explains, the Hadid by Rabbi Yosef, Miravuna, that which this rabbi asked, Ravuna, Mita Pachot Mishtosha Kilavu Dame, if you have a bed which is lower than three tfachim, it's considered to be like lavud. In other words, it's like reaching the ground. Um, so Rava con- concludes over there that if you have less than three three tfachim, uh, it's like lavud. It's like closed. It's like considered to be down to the floor, right? But if you have ten tfachim. Then it's considered to be a different domain. So either way, it's going to be good, right? Uh, you can read there. So then, what's the question? Mishlosha the Adasarah, right? From three to ten, this is where we're not sure. I know the buyer Rabbi Yosef. This is what Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Yosef asked this question. Ravuna from Ravuna, but Lot Pashi didn't I wasn't able to answer him. So he says, therefore we go to Chumrah. We go stringent. Aliba de Rabbi Shimon ben Gamriel, like this rabbi. Ka'e de Kamar, mitachot tzetzet. So he holds that the bed uh, interposes. Mishum ha'achi, pasak halacha kebate. So therefore he passed in the halacha like him. Ketav Rabbeinu Yona, says Rabbeinu Yona, shepiresh ha'gaon, the gaon said, shemin ha'gam haya, Ah, so he says in those days, their beds were like closed up. Right. So then he's asking, right, if this canister is behind the bed, since the bed is like all closed, and therefore it's like a, it's like a partition, you know. And let's say the height is less than 10 tfachim of the bed. Mishum Achi says, because of this, Kamar Asara Mibayali. He said, right, I'm not asking about 10 because I know 10 is it's okay. Because it's a separate domain already. The Vadai Mechitsahi, that's considered for sure, right, a partition. The Huzal. It says uh, he Hashiv ala gaon. He answered the gaon. The ham milta the pshita. So he says it's pashut. It's, it's obvious. The asara mechitza gmurahi. That what? Then ten tefachim. It's, it's considered to be like a real mechitza, which is like up to your waist. Ten tefachim. Velo hayat tzarich lomar asara. So he says it didn't really need to say ten because ten is obvious, right? Uh, so therefore it says it seems like he's asking even a bed regarding a bed which is not closed my rest talking about that therefore he says he needed to say I'm not asking him about 10 fachim uh, to teach you that even though 
שאפשר לראות אותה, זה אפשר לראות את הקניסטר, אפילו אחי, זה נראה לי, כמעט שיש בגובה המיטה עשרה, אבל כשאתה יודע שהבית עצמו יש לך עשרה, אז אנחנו לא מבינים על זה. רבנו ירוחם, אז הוא אומר שרבנו ירוחם כתב, הוא כותב בגאון פירש, שגאון מסביר, זה מראה לאחר המיטה, אנחנו מדברים על מאחורי הבית, שאמרנו שקורה מיד, הוא אומר, הוא אומר, הוא אומר, שאם היה פחות משלושה טפחים, כי אם היה פחות משלושה טפחים, סמוך למיטה, Right next to the bed, כי מחובר על המיטה, זה הוא עושה קצר כדי להתאש את הבד. זה לא יקרה, אז שום רידר. ואם רחוקים מן המיטה, עשרה, אבל אם זה קצר מן הבד, תן, בתן טווחים, רשות אחרת, זה קצר כדי להתאש את הבד דומיין. הוא מותר, זה נכון, זה נכון, משלושה ועד עשרה. אה, אבל מה עבור מ-3 עד 10? בעיה, זו שאלה שאנחנו שאלנו. The Loi Pshita, nobody answered this question. Ul Khumra, and therefore, we go stringent regarding that. Okay, good. Rechakach Katab. Afterwards, he writes, The Afiru Ladata, even according to the opinion of the Rif, Shinir Eish, a Posek Ketana Kava, It seems like he passed like Tanakam, the first opinion. Im meruchak ha-geref me-amita, asa tzvachim. If the, um, if the distance, it's, if it's um, distanced away from the bed, ten tzvachim, mutar, it's allowed. Why? The reshut ha-chet, it's a different domain. Atkan Hashem, that's the end of the language there. Udvarav t'muim, so it says, words are wondrous, benai, in my eyes it says, v'rashi piresh, Rashi explains, uh, this question, the Amai de Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar, regarding what this rabbi said, until he puts them under the bed. It's talking, talking about that. This is what he means to say. It's, it's, it's simple, it's obvious to me. If he puts them under the bed, and the legs of the bed are short, שאין אמנה לקרקע שלושה טווחים. So you don't have from that bed down to the floor three טווחים. So it's less than that. כלומר, means to say the... One second, I'm sorry. Okay, so as we said, right, that again, She'en amena lekarka shlosha tvachim. Kelavudam, it's considered like it's closed, down to the floor. Ve'arahen ketemunim, so therefore it's considered like totally covered, totally buried, whatever. Asara, what about if you have ten? Vada'i lo kami bayali, we're not asking about that, obviously. He says, denire keilu enam tachtea, because it looks like it's not under it, me'achar she'esh hefsek gadol, since there is a big, Partition there, kokach, and ze kisui. So it's not considered to be uh, a cover. We buy it. They asked the gova, the height mishlosha v'adasara. What about if the height is between three and ten? And have a kisui. It's considered. Is it considered to be like covered, or low or not? But low ifshita and ruchuma. It wasn't explained, and uh, they went stringent there. <laughs> So it says, from what I wrote, you, 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 you understand, that which is written in the books of Rabbeinu, Pasak Gaon, uh, the Gaon Pasak in Kirashba, like Kirashba, Ta'ut Soferhu, he says it's a mistake there. It's like Ragia Kirashbag, not like Rashba, it should be Rashbag, Rabbi Shimon Gamliel. This is, that's what I found in the more correct versions of the of this book. 
ומה שכתב, that what she wrote, ולמעלה מעשרה כאילו הוא ברשות אחרת, and regarding being under, above, above ten fachim, it's considered to be like a different domain altogether. נראה, so it seems to me it says, לי שצריך להגיע, you also have to change this text over here a little bit, alter the text, אחד במקום אחרת, it should be one instead of another. So not that it's considered to be a different domain, it's considered to be one domain, right? just the opposite. מה כתב, not what she wrote, ולא חשב כמכוסה תחתיה, that it's not considered to be covered under it, also, he says, this word also seems like it's out of place. Tachtea, under it. Right? So he says, the riff didn't explain this question, didn't uh, bring this, didn't mention this question. Cloud at all. But love, and that's why the Harabin uh, Yana, Harabin Yana was wondering, why didn't he mention this? Rosh also, Rosh Katav, the Rosh says, What's the reason why the Rift didn't write it? Because he holds that this the question is going on Rashbag, like the Gaon, but he himself holds. That the halacha is like the first opinion. So it seems to me, he says, that even if he held halacha Rashbag, halacha like Rashbag, you shouldn't, you didn't really need to write this question. Because he is explaining it like the, the commentary of the, the explanation of the Gaon. So it says, according to what this rabbi explained, the hashtag came on the Mishlosha Adasara. That, 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 we should, that which we say that uh, from three to ten tvachim, lo ipshita, and there was no answer given there. Unchuma, therefore we go stringent. Mechitza asa pshitalan. When it comes to a, a partition which is ten tvachim, there we do want to, we do have a clear answer. The havia epsek is considered to be a partition. Pachot miasala, it's less than ten. Lacha shiva mechitza, not considered to be a uh, partition. And therefore, you don't need to teach us this. Okay, good. So, okay, so Kavod Harav, I'm sorry. So from three tefachim to ten tefachim, that's where the doubt is, correct? Yes. And then the one above ten tefachim is considered a partition, and the one that is lower than ten tefachim would be considered like a cover, correct? A uh, what? I consider like a what? A cover, you know, if, Beautiful. if the... great, great, yes, 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 okay, thank you. Good, very nice. Okay, so let's go on. So he says, So he says, the Rambam also didn't mention this uh, question at all. The Shash it could be that he holds, like the riff, or if Shash or maybe he explains like Rashi, the Heman Shkatav Shein Kafa Lavatsoa. And since he wrote that if he covered it, uh, the excrement, kli, uh, like uh, covered it with a utensil, or or on the urine, I thought pi shehen ad imoba bayit. Even though they're with him in the house, hare elu kikburid. It's considered to be like covered, so it's good. Mutali kol ki negdan, so you can read next to it. The chivan shekayim alan. So he says since we hold the pachot mishlosha kilavud dame that when it's less than three. It's considered to be like lavud, right? Closed, as we said, right? When the, when the bed is not high three, so therefore it's like covered, whatever. It's loud. That's what it says also there. says, however, he writes, even though we differentiate between a bed, which is has a height of three, Oh, pachot bikli, or less. It's three or less in a kli in a utensil. Lo shani lan de bechol gavna chotetz. 
So it says, um, we don't really differentiate because it, 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 it interposes anyway. The end of it. So it says uh, it's a little bit forced. That we can explain like that. Why did he interchange the din of the bed with the din of the utensil? So it's all the more so that when the Allah is not, not equal. So it says, therefore, it seems to me that the opinion of the Rambam is like we wrote, like the riff. Zal. You should know he says it's also written in the Ramazim. That if that canister is under the bed, mutar, uh, it's allowed. The Hashiv Ketamun is considered like buried, whatever, covered. For instance, when the bed is not doesn't have the height of three, ve'arif asar and the rif forbids that. That's the end of it. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why he wrote this way. She'af al pi sharif ifaresh keperu shagaon. But even though the riff uh, explains it like the uh, commentary of the Gaon, how do we know that he would argue on that? Uh, since we hold that less than three is considered like closed, so if the, when the bed is not high three by three, uh, it doesn't have the height of three, right? Tvachim, uh, Ketamundam, it's considered like closed. We can remember, so it says, there is to say, the lekam man de palik de share. So therefore, nobody really here argues that it's allowed to, in that case. <laughs> okay, so good. We're done with that. Let's go to Shuchanuch and we're done. Says the Shulchanuch, "Mutar likrot kiyat shema bebet bayit sheyesh lo tzoa." You're allowed to read kiyat shema in a room uh, which has excrement or melaglaim or gref beavit or canister. Kevan sheyachik mehem shkeshu. As long as you distance yourself, you know the proper distance, right? As we already mentioned, shenit ba'er basiman ein tet, which was explained in chapter seventy-nine. Achem im kafa lehem kli. So there's also another, there's another solution. If you cover it with a kli, like with a utensil, even though they're in the house together, it's considered like it's buried. Once you cover it, it's like buried. It says, therefore, so you're allowed to read the kirekdo right next to it. Okay, very good. So... I guess I'll read this one more time just to get it, make sure we got it straight. So it says right uh, again, Mutali Kiachiman you're allowed to read Kiyat Shema in a house, whatever, which has excrement or urine or geref avit, or you have this canister or whatever, or whatever. Kiman she yerchik mehem kishur, as long as you distance yourself, as we the distance that, that we mentioned. She needs ba'er b'siman ayin ted, which was explained in chapter seventy nine. That we already knew, right? That's just like a review. But uh, now we're saying right one more thing. Vechen im kafal hemkli. Also, if he overturned like a utensil and covered it, even though they're in the house with him, they're considered like buried. Therefore, you're allowed to read. In a case like that, you can read. Uh, next, next to it, right? Okay, good. So good, we're done with that chapter. Now we're going to the last chapter, that's it. 
Okay, so which is 78, I'm sorry, 88. Pechet. Looks like it's a short one. Okay, so it says in the um, tour, Kol atmein korin b'Torah v'korin shema mitpalin chutz mibalekeri. Right, so uh, this is one of the primary issues, right, the one that is discussed in the Talmud, the Masechet Brachot. There, uh, so it says like this, right, that um, there are people who are now. We talked about the issue, you know, things which smell bad and everything, right? But we're not now. We're talking about ritual impurity, you know, impure. Somebody who's impure spiritually, so all the impure people he says can read the Torah and read the Shema and also pray the Amida. Chutz mi bal keri, except one, which is the one who had a seminal mission. Sheba mikalut rosh, that came from. Uh, you know, um, how would you call this, right? Like, you know, being being not being not serious, right? Uh, levity. So therefore, it's forbidden. It's forbidden to learn Torah like that. With also If you learn also prayers, but he says nowadays we allow this. What's the reason why we allow it? Because this rabbi says. So he says the custom is not like this rabbi, but Divet Torah, which when it comes to words of Torah, because he said, right, that the words of Torah don't become impure. So therefore, we don't, we're not worried about it. So therefore, he doesn't really need the immersion in the mikveh to, uh, to study Torah. Also, when this rabbi came, Amar bitlua litviluta keri. All right. So, Rabbi Ben Betera. So, you know what he said, this rabbi? He said, Oh, yeah, they nullified that enactment, right? So, there was an enactment made by Ezra, you know, regarding this issue. And then it was nullified. Why was it nullified? Because the people weren't able to keep it. It was too hard for them, you know? So, and since it was too hard, you know, and. Uh, Therefore, the majority of the community was not able to keep this degree. Therefore, they nullified it. That's that's what it says here. Good. So then he goes on. It's not only when it comes to immersion. Same thing also applies regarding bathing with nine calves of water, right? Uh, like uh, pouring it over yourself. That you don't need that either. So you don't need to immerse in the mikveh. You don't need to pour water in yourself. The hari because he says the the rabbiuda ben betera doesn't really require a filo rechitza even even just uh, even bathing doesn't require. The kamar the nahug alma kibate. So he says that the custom is like him. The gamre altogether katav rav alfas. Says this rabbi, Ika man de Amar. There is one who says, Man de Amar had de Amar bitlut le tevilutah. According to one who says, 
that they nullified this, ben the Zivet Torah, ben the Shema, whether it's for Torah or for Shema, with filah uh, and prayers, they come in Monday, and there is one that says, Dafka the Divet Torah. Some say, no, only for Divet Torah they nullified it. About the tefillah, but when it comes to prayers, you need immersion. But not Dafka tefillah, it says, not only it says uh, immersion, also bathing with nine calves of water, as we said. Rabbeinu Ha'izal Katab, and this rabbi wrote, Kivan de Begemara Leka Mai Hai Milta. So it says, since in the Gemara we don't find this thing, they are written explicitly, Nekot Minhag Kol Israel. So it says, therefore you take the custom of all Jews, Be'adecha Shebale Kerain. Uh, that when it comes to the people who are selling the mission, even though they don't have water, they don't pray until they do uh, bathing. This rabbi Katav, he writes, There's no difference between Kiyat Shema and Tfila, compares. Also, this rabbi says this, Baal Keri Torah. So he says, now the custom is that Baal Keri, the one who had a similar emission, also reads in the Torah as well. The Kiyat Shema, Tfilah, and also these things. We already have Nea Teva, and he also goes and prays for the community. Kamet uh, Tfilah, before the immersion. So he says, since this depends on custom, so he says, therefore, we go according to the custom of each place. Then he get there that they have this regarding this issue. So it says nowadays the custom is not to do immersion and also not to do uh, bathing either. What is for the Torah for the Kiachma? Not for Tvila either. That's what it says in the Rabad. So the custom is not like the re, only when it comes to immersion. But when it comes to bathing, the custom is not like him. So he says, Zairi requires to do tet kabs. Nine kabs of water to bathe with it. Ubiu bechol mekomotenu it says in all the places that we live in, we don't have this custom like that. Half a tit kabin, even with ten, nine calves of water. The Samhu al Yushami says they were chatting, we learned the Yushami, the Garcina, because it says over there, Hatam Gabe Yom Kippur, regarding Yom Kippur, it says, Asur betashmi shamita, you're not allowed to have relations with your wife on Yom Kippur. Hashta berchitza asur betashmi shlokot shaken. So he says, if it's if it's if it's forbidden when it comes to bathing, all the more so it's forbidden to do uh, intercourse. Kumar asul lo palel ba'odo bal keri, so he can't really pray until he's bal keri. I'm saying while while he's still bal keri, while he still has similar mission. Hachit bol until he what he immerses. And since he is forbidden to do uh, bathing. All the more so when it comes to intercourse. Uh, so he answers there. We're talking about a place where they don't immerse. If it's true that we need nine calves of water, so then what is it answering you regarding uh, bathing? Uh, yeah. And still, when it comes to bathing, it's forbidden. All the more so, being with your wife. Okay, that's the end of the tour. Let's see, Bet Yosef.
That's the Torah. So it says about Yosef, um, he brings a source for this. Where is this? Besot Perk Mishim It's over there in Kaf Vav and Mudbet in Brachot. Tanan, he learned the Mishnah, Zav Shira Akeri. Right? Zav was a, had a similar mission. No, I'm sorry. Zav is a person who had a different type of mission. Right? And he now also said a mission he had also. Benida She Pratal Shifat Zera. And also, if you had a woman who's menstruation, menstruating, and she also had, she gave off some uh, semen. And also, a woman who had intercourse, and then she had nida, she had uh, she had a period. They also they all need uh, immersion. These these women. The uh, Rabbi Yehuda Poter and Rabbi Yehuda absolves the Katvarif Abayarosh says these two rabbis. From this Mishnah, we learn Sham Inan, the Zavim, the Zavot, these two categories, right? Zavim, Zavot, Nidot, the uh, Nidot and Yoldot, the ones who gave birth, Kulhu Chayavim Betvila, they're all obligated to pray. The Daikinan Tama, the Zav, Shira Akeri, that it says the reason we're giving over here is deduction is that the what? Talking about a Zav who saw carry, who saw a similar mission. And Nida who will give off it, uh, uh, she, she, uh, she gave off some uh, semen. Who the Tzrichet Tvila, those are the ones that need immersion. Ha Zav, Shelora Akeri, but if you have a Zav, right, uh, who didn't see any similar mission. And also, if she's a Nida and she didn't give off any semen. Uh, and they don't need immersion, these people. That's the says. So it says, when it comes to Tvila of the 107 mission, so it says that it comes from the decree of Ezra, as we said. Like it says in the end of this perk. Uh, which is So it says Rabbeinu Tam wrote, gave a reason for this for this matter. Uh, because it came from from levity. Same is also uh, brought down in this perk also. Also, it's also in brachot. So it says now it's loud. Why? Because when it comes to Dibre Torah, we're like this rabbi. We go like this rabbi. Who says that? What? Uh, that um, the words of Torah don't receive any impurity. The Perak Rashid Takes over there it says in Chulin Kufla Midvav Mudbet. The Perak Mishemet also there Chav Bet Amud Aleph. The Had the Tani Rabbi Yehuda Ben Betera. That which we learned, right? This Rabbi Shem Dibre Torah Mikabim Tuma. The words of Torah don't accept Tuma. Katvot Talmudei Rabbi Noyana. These Rabbis wrote Talmudim Rabbi Noyana. The Perak uh, Mishabeto, this Perak, you give them a bit. Yesh me farshim, some explain over there, but the Loshana Kiyat Shema, Loshana Kiyat Acheret. I don't care if they're reading Shema or some other reading. Regarding all things we say, then the words of Torah don't accept tomorrow. The words of Torah don't accept tomorrow. Then then, Nachon is the Badai, it's not correct that for sure, Lo Amru. Ela uh, the only thing that's regarding Kiyat Shema. 
בלבד. אבל בשעה דברים דברי תורה, when it comes to other words of Torah, אסור, it's forbidden. דהה אמינא עמדת במדבר, because we say במדבר, in uh, numbers 15, כי דבר אדוני בזר, because he despised the word of God. וזה הקורא דברי התורה במבואות המטונפות. Let's talk about somebody who reads the Torah in a filthy place, in a filthy alley. וחמירו בזה, as they were stringent about this, יותר משאר, more than other קריטות, other types of cutting off. בכל שאר קריטות, why? Because in all the other cutting off, הקראת מכפר, the cutting off, it tones for you. מכפר, ובזה אין לו מכפר, but it says regarding this, it doesn't tone for you. אלא אף על פי שנחרט, אבונה בא. Rather, the rule is that even though uh, that, uh, that she was cut off, her sin is still there. I can actually, let's see in a bit. So it says, these are wondrous words. Uh, one second, I'm sorry. Just got a phone call from Esther. I don't know why she's calling me. <laughs> okay. I hope everything is okay with her. So anyway, uh, again, right, we'll read that again. Says they, they were more stringent about this more than other types of cutting off. Because it comes to other cutting off, it says that it, 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 it tones, the cutting off. וזה אינו מכפר, אבל here doesn't, doesn't atone. אלא אף על פי שנחרט עוונה בה, so even though that he was cut off, his sin, his sin is still there, well, in other words, he's not forgiven. Kabbalt Haraf? Yeah. So, cut off, the, the words of Torah were recited in a place of impurity, not the one who's impure. I'm sorry, what was that again? What was the question again? Uh -huh. So you're saying that if the person, let me see if I understand this. Yeah. The words of Torah recited by the individuals that they have these tip, this, these uh, discharges from the body. Yes. Uh -huh. So they're allowed to recite words of Torah because they don't receive impurity, correct? Words of Torah do not receive impurity. Right, exactly, however. exactly, yes. However, if they re except if it, they recite it in a place that it's not pure, meaning that it's a filthy place, correct? Oh, uh, yeah, in a filthy place, it's not allowed, right, yes. It's not allowed, okay, thank you. Very good, so yeah, that's it. So uh, it says, Mishaketot, v'chol shaketot, right, so let's go on. So it says, Ela afa pishu nikrata avonava. I can't show, Udvayim Tumuim says, these are wondrous words, like I don't understand what's going on with that. Because it implies from his words, that they forbade when it comes to these dirty places. Only words of Torah. But when it comes to Kiyat Shema, they didn't forbid this. That's what it implies. Then the Torah because the words of Torah don't accept Torah. So this is a mistake what he said, right? This rabbi, not correct. Uh, because it says over there in this Gemara, regarding this issue of uh, dirty, dirty places, filthy places, right? Um, Tanya Behedia teaches over there in Brighta explicitly. So, right, what he says is not correct. The odd, the end, the Torah, and coming to right? And now, also, which we said that the words of Torah don't accept Tuma. Mashma called the Torah implies all kinds of Torah. So Shema is also Torah, right? It's the same thing. What difference does it make? Deim lo ken lo hava le lememar, because otherwise he shouldn't have said Ela and and kiyat Shema mikabel tumah. Otherwise he should have said that only kiyat Shema doesn't accept tumah. The old Rabbi Yehuda the Amar, this is also Rabbi Yehuda that said the and the divrei Torah mikabel tumah that the words of Torah don't accept tumah. Mikra ma'itel mikra ma'itel. It brings us from a verse in right in the prophets. The Chetiv it says. In Yirmiyahu, Chav Gimel, Alo Kod 
דבריי כאש, דברי כאש, מה אש אינו מקבל תאונה. So it says, are my words like fire, just like the fire doesn't, doesn't accept תאונה, אף דיבר תורה, also the words of תורה, אינם מקבלים תאונה, they don't accept תאונה. וכן, וכי הכי דשייכה, just like it's relevant, היי דרשה בקריאת שמה, regarding קריאת שמה, אך אינם דשייכה בשעת דברי תורה, אז also it's relevant to regarding other words of תורה. ועוד אם איתה דבמבות מטונפות מותר לקרוא קריאת שמה, also it says if it's true that you're allowed to read קריאת שמה in filthy places, what well, then uh, the same thing also would apply to מקום שיש בו צואה, the place which has צואה, which has excrement, מרגליים and urine, נמי שעה, that would also be allowed. זה מה שנה, what's the difference? ואי אפשר לומר כן, so it says, because uh, it's not possible to say such a thing like that, דה סוגיין בכולי פרק, because this whole discussion there, that chapter, מי שמתו דה אסור לקרוא קריאת שמה במקום שיש בו צואה. You know that קריאת שמה, a place which is there, excrement, מרגליים and urine, or get a few of it, or you have the issue of the canisters that we mentioned, or either you have to add to it, until it goes behind it, or in front of it, or in front of it, as long as you can still see it. The other Rabbah, Kiyat Shema Chamur, so he says just the opposite, right? On the contrary, Kiyat Shema is more stringent, Mishad Yivar Torah, from other words of Torah, when it comes to bad smell. Shein Noi Ka, which doesn't have any source. Kamo Shein Bayar Vesiman Ayin Ted, like we always taught that, right, in chapter 79. Hilkach says, therefore, he says, Vadai Lo Shani Lan Ben Kiyat Shema Lishad Yivar Torah. So we don't differentiate between Kiyat Shema and other words of Torah. וכל הוא מקום שיש בו צואה או תינופת אסור. So when it comes to all these things, right, uh, if you have there some excrement or some toothy stuff, אסור, it's forbidden משום, והיה מחנך הקדוש, because your camp must be uh, holy. ומה שאמרו, אין דברי תורה מקבלים תאומה, uh, now which we said that the words of Torah don't accept תאומה, היינו במקום שאין בו שום תינוף. We're talking about a place which has no filth there, cloth at all. But gam abdam hakore daki mitunuf, and also the prince, the person who's reading there, is also himself. Uh, he himself is also clean of any filth. Ela shehu tame, but he says he's he's impure. She nagab b'shum tumah because he touched some kind of impurity, or she atzav tumah migufo, or some impurity came out of his body. Kegon shehu zav, for instance, if he zav. Or Balkiri or similar omission. The ha mean I'm regarding that which we say, uh, that we say, then divat Torah mekabelim tuma that the words of Torah don't accept tuma. Ben kiyat shema or ben divat Torah. When it comes to kiyat shema Torah, mutar kiyot beze beze. The kiyot you can read there kiyat shema. Beze haya pashut says this thing. That was this was obvious to us. The shart name just like any other impure people. Oh, but mitakanat Ezra. It's all from the the kriya Ezra. I know Osrim the Baal Keri that we are we should forbid the Baal Keri the the Chal Seven Illusion. The Atar Rabbi Yehuda Ben Betera and comes this Rabbi to teach you. The Tiro he allows it. The the Kara the Halakha called the Bara the Bara like Esh Asmachta Biyama. So this verse he says just a uh, right allusion. It's not really a clear source for that. The Biyama who. Says, even Ezra knew the The words of Torah don't accept Tuma. We didn't know that. Afilo Achi says, nevertheless, Gazar ala Baal Keri. Never, anyway, nevertheless, he decreed on Baal Keri. Kvar katvu Tosot says already Tosot. The Tosot pek ketu merubel there. The Rabenu Yona pek mishe metos over there. Rabenu Yona. The Rambam besot pe ilkot kiat shema over there. Over there. Tam the Davar. There was a reason for this. What's the reason? He had the power to Rabbi Yehuda. So what does that mean? How did Rabbi Yehuda have the power, the Mitra, the Vatel Tchanat Ezra, to annul the decree of Ezra, right? Because Ezra was before him. You know, he had a bigger court, better din than him. So then, how was he able to annul his decree? Right. The Vechen Ki Ata Zeiri also says when this Rabbi came Zeiri. Amar bitlu al tefilata. He said that they nullified this enactment already. Kirabiyuda ben Betel, like this rabbi said. 
גם זה בפרק מי שמתו, אז לא סוף דרך, אני מסתכל על זה, זה פרק עם ברכות, אוקיי, גוד, so, let's have a little bit more here. הוא ממש כתב, and that what you wrote, דווקא כתפילתה, only when it comes to immersion, אלא הוא, הוא עדין נמי לחיצה, so the same thing also applies to bathing as well. Yes. A bathing and immersion, you said? I'm sorry, what was that again? Bathing and immersion, correct? Oh, uh, so let's read it again one more time. But love, Dafka, but Tfilata, this is not only when it comes to her immersion, Elahu Adin Nami Rechitza, right? Right. So, yeah, same thing, exactly. But Tisha Bekavin, Right? When, when you bathe yourself with nine cups of water, no by, uh, he doesn't even ask about that. Because Rabbi doesn't even require that you should bathe at all. Right? It's over there in the Gemara. Ahad Tanya, that which we learned in the Brayta, Maaseh B'Talmid Echad. It happened with one, um, with one student, right? Shaya Megamgem Lemala Merabi Yehuda Ben Betera. So he was like stuttering in front of this rabbi and the rabbi blessed him, you know, I should stop stuttering, whatever. So he says, don't worry, you can, right, you can, you can talk the words of Torah. Why? Because the words of Torah don't accept Tumah. Rashba says, Rashba, from here, we deduce that Rabbi Yudah ben Betara lo matzich afilu netinat tisha kavin. He doesn't even require to, to bathe with water there a little bit. The hadith, the amina, nahug, alma, now that which we said that the, now the custom is, with filuta ke rab yuda, like uh, when it comes to immersion, we do like rab yuda. Lav le mema des filuta davka kamar. Doesn't mean we say that he's talking about only immersion. Ela mishum deena, deena mitzarche tvila kamar. Because uh, he says, um, rather, talking about other types of uh, right, immersion. So it says here it's talking about uh, leniently, uh, going lenient. So it says even when it comes to nine cabs of water, to bathe in them, they were even lenient with that. Says Rav Alfa, there is one that says, that that which we said, right, that they nullified this, whether it's for Torah and Shema, or prayers, until all this, all this place. I call Divrei Arif, so he says, this is all the words of the riff here. The Perk Misha Meto over there, and you give them with the bet. The Chen Katav Rosh, that's what it says also in Rosh, Gam Ken Sham, also over there, Katav Rabbeinu Yonah, says Rabbeinu Yonah, Tehadekam Rabbi Rav Hai, that which Rav Hai said, they don't uh, pray until they bathe. If Shahaya Lomar, it was possible to say, the intention was to say, they should bathe in 40 siyah, like a mikvah. But the Rif writes, so it's not only immersion, also when it comes to bathing as well. He says, even though that which the Rif mentioned, Tisha Kavim, nine calves. I know Al Dibre Rabbeinu. It's not really going on the words of Rabbeinu, Rabbeinu Hai, on Rabbeinu Hai. Ela Aliba Deika Leman Deamar. Rather, it's going according to the opinion. There is the one who says, "Hanim Mile Le Dibre Torah." It only applies to words of Torah. Aval Le Tfila. But when it comes to prayers, Tzayik Tfila, you need immersion. Mashma Le Rabbeinu Yona applies to him. The Arif Shevi Dibre Rabbeinu. The riff which we brought the words of Rabbeinu, Rabbeinu Hai, Achar Shtes Varot, after these two opinions, Shenemu Perush Bitfula Letfiluta, that they said explicitly that the immersion was nullified. Lavlei Fluge Al Bitfula Letfiluta. He's not coming to argue with this issue. They nullified it. Ata Ela Lomar, rather, it's coming to tell you, Shafa Pi Shena Akarat Le Echreach Le Echad Mishtes Varot. Even though neither one of these opinions is like clearly correct, 
נהגו העולם כאחד מהם, but he says the custom is like one of them, דהיינו ההיא דספרד דלתפילה מיה באי רחיצה, that like the one that holds that when it comes to logical to say that uh, for prayers you do need a bathing at least, nine calves, שגמים, דהכי דייק, that's the way the deuces, ממה שכתב עד שירחצו, That which, from that which he wrote, that until he, 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 he bathes, they bathe. <laughs> okay. The lo katab ad sheet belu doesn't write, uh, doesn't say, doesn't, doesn't say there uh, until they, uh, until they immerse. Well, if he's there, according to this, he says, hai svara pliga la svara shkatab rabbeinu This argues with what Rabbeinu said the tour, in the beginning, that which this rabbi said, that they nullified it, not only that they nullified the immersion, this all same, same thing applies, uh, also the bathing also they nullified, with nine caps of water. It doesn't require that either. So it says, if uh, the Rabbeinu were to be explaining the words of Rabbeinu Hai, Rabbeinu Hai, can like that, yesh di t'mua, there is to wonder al Rabbeinu, to wonder in the words of Rabbeinu, the tour, shkatav asarot stam kedu, they wrote all these opinions, stam, right, undefined, and afilu kedu en machloket al Rabbeinu, like as if like there's no machloket there. Okay, I guess we'll stop here, there's still a long way to go here, there's a lot of bit Yosef over here. So Bezat Hashem, we'll continue next time, pick it up next time. Thanks for being with us. Be blessed with wealth, health, happiness. Chazak Baruch. Be healthy and happy. And see you tomorrow, Bezat Hashem. And uh, stay holy. Until Kavotha tomorrow, Bezat Hashem. Laila Tov. Tomorrow Shabbat, Kavotha. Oh, tomorrow Shabbat. Okay, so then we pick it up on Sunday, Bezat Hashem. Oh, okay. All the best. Thank you, Thank you Kavotha.